Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this example. It's a semi-level uh, admin surfacing. Let's attack. We create a bar and then over there we create a sketch. After this operation we are going to create first construction geometry here. Convert to construction geometry and here a line. And then heal and arc. Maybe it's good to connect this two point with a construction geometry again. Type of alignment problem. I do 60. And here I do have one diameter 45. Here one diameter again 65. And then a radius of 35. Once you are done with that, we can make an offset. Offset for this line. And I do close my profile. And made from an arc at the end of this two point. It was just automatically defined by program as a tangent. You see everything is black. That means we can go to next step, revolve both space, and we make a revolve. And now we are going to make a surface, offset surfacing, because I don't want to create surface breaks and rings on my real model. I will work on this uh, part of surface that will create a neat model. Top plane, we create a sketch. Here, a group of line. And one more of parallel. These two will be construction geometry. And these two will be mirrored. We go first. Mirror entities. Oh, sorry. Mirror entities. These entities will be mirrored, and this in mirror. A program sees one construction line, sometimes automatically giving you mirror without you select. And degree will be 20. That's good. Now we can go trim surface. The stream tool, I will just cap selection and then the rest will be moved and now on the front plane right plane we are going to create a sketch and again a two line and the value is here one and a half and one and a half later on we go to room surface and this area will be kept. If we go to our real model and then you have a surface as you see on the screen now when you compare with the rest of the part. This part will be this color. Surface here. Yeah, we can change the color of it. Body some uh, different color to understand yes now we can hide our body and we can create a plane firstly on surface and then a point and same operation here surface and here normal to that surf uh, point we create on that area a uh, plane now first first plane I do create a sketch and I do create a here an arc. Firstly, I will go pick here and my origin, and then here a line. I couldn't succeed. Maybe this is better using a line there, midpoint, 
and then I made this point a coincident. While our control is pressed in our keyboard, we select two objects, say tangent. Uh, sketch is fully defined, and now we are going to make a split line. In fact, trim is better. We just get rid of the area now. And plane two, our space, and we look normal to them. Again, here a line, just for easiness when we are selecting midpoint. We can press Ctrl, select two object, and tangency, and then this point and this arc, and midpoint, and then we got fully black. And trim surface, we kept this area. This is nice. We are almost there. And now we are going to divide our surface with the help of font plane. I will show you why I did that when we are dealing with boundary surface. Everything is looking fine for now. Font plane is sketch. And I will make an offset here in words too. A little bit play with my points. And here I will place spline. Here also I do place a spline. A little bit play with the points. Now, a uh, here relationship will be tangency. Here I will make a normal two, but for making normal two, before I need some helper lines. For example, these two will be perpendicular, and then this already given by program tangent. And then here a value of 5 and 2 time 5 and 5 tangency value. One thing we forget, we should make tangent to this point. And then we have got a fully defined sketch. It is here. We've got smaller. Same operation here. First tangency. And then later on, I create here a line. This two, which are perpendicular, and this two, this one here, tangent, and then this one here, tangent. This is the only way in this case to be, to give a tangency relationship or normal to. Five and five. Yes, we have that little problem. I don't know why we got that. Maybe because of some relations. Okay, this is five. Ah, this I think. Yes, now let's try. Without I realize I gave the right relationship seems. This is five. This is five. We don't need to give. Okay. Now we have got this group of objects. And I'm going to create here one grid sketch and convert entities first this but didn't let me do that program okay we will try 
another way. You go to surfaces, boundary surface, selection manager. I do select this line. You will have got a little surface break, by the way. We should take care of it. First, this object. Second, this object. And third, this object. Yes. Operation is done. We say OK and hide the surface. And now we can show our solid body. With cut surface, I'm selecting my boundary surface, changing the direction, and then we have got this nice cutout here. It is looking great. On front plane, I create a sketch and I will convert some entities. Now, the 3D sketch would be sorry, guys. 3D sketch. Convert entities. I don't know why, but we have got here a little problem. I think that can make some problem for us. But let's try. This is pad. This is front plane. And I do create here a diameter. Which is one and then later on features swap and then to read the sketch we have a little problem now this to read the sketch creating a stupid issue Circular profile, select one, and then selection manager. I'm going to select by myself this pad now to see what's happening. Yeah, now it is working. Sometimes hard to understand this problem. Okay, we created this and a mirror, and again a mirror, geometry pad. And we are waiting. I'm trying to understand problem, but yeah. Let's make this one not merge result and see what's happening. Front plane, mirror, bodies to mirror will be this object and we don't make a merge and now I'm going to make a combine normally I would follow a different way but now we are dealing with a little issue here that's why I do select different way okay now it worked you see sometimes you don't understand but you always try to make a different way Circular pattern first. This feature will be 18 times copied, and then we make a circular pattern again. This is our uh, axis. This two body will be copied on the center of this circular object. And then uh, only combine operation will be missing here. I will go inside and I will clear selections and I will come to solid bodies, select first this one while this shift is while shift is pressed and I'm going to bottom and select that object also. And here I complete my combine. 
bear with me just one more operation and then we will give some nice radius and the model is done sorry for a little issue fill it not uh, preview i select this surface 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 and radius value is to 0 0.5 and then I do say okay it can take some time but you see we have been dealing with a little problem Sometimes you are missing some little points and program not able to combine the two points and then, uh, or detecting a little gap. But you should have always second B problem because you are not all the time able to start modeling from all over again because of so much steps. Mostly this happens with the parts from outside to you do a bring inside of your SOLIDWORKS environment such as IGS or snap files. I have been a lot but by the time you develop another ways to deal with that i think this became a nice example in that respect if you like my video please make comment and hit the like button if you do search more challenging videos please do visit my channel see you in another video